Hello students, in this video we will solve example 13 from complex numbers that is find modulus and argument of following that is 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i and 1 by 1 plus i. Let us solve 1 by 1. Uh, the steps here are same as that of the polar form. Even here we have to find the modulus and the argument as that of the polar form. For that we need to convert the given complex number into standard form that is a plus ib form. So to convert into a plus ib form let us rationalize this. How do we rationalize? We divide and multiply with the conjugate of the denominator. That is 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i. We divide and multiply with the conjugate of this denominator. The conjugate of this denominator is 1 plus i divided by 1 plus i. So here 1 plus i into 1 plus i is 1 plus i whole square and 1 minus i and 1 plus i we can solve using this identity that is a plus b into a minus b that is equals to a square plus b square. So that will be 1 square minus i square and here 1 plus i square we can solve using this identity a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab. I have applied the same identity and I get this. Next 1 square is 1 i square is minus 1 plus 2 into 1 into i divided by 1 i square is minus 1 so it will be 2 and 1 the negative 1 and positive 1 here get cancelled and that will be 2i divided by 2 and 2 and 2 cancels so what will be remaining is i as we need in the a plus i b form we can write i as 0 plus i isn't it now it is in the standard form that is z is equals to a plus i b form where a is equals to 0 and b is equals to 1 now we can easily find the modulus r and argument theta. To find r, we have the formula r is equals to root of a square plus b square. And to find the argument theta, we have to choose among these values based on the sign of the variables. So let us find r. The modulus r is equals to root of a square plus b square. What is a? a is 0 square plus b is 1. That is 1 square. That is root of 1 square is 1. So we found out 1. Now we need to find the theta. To find the theta uh, or to find the theta relation, we need to check the sign of the variable that is a and b. Here both the variable are positive. a is positive and b is also positive. So we choose the theta from the first quadrant. So let us choose the theta from the first quadrant that is theta is equals to alpha. Here alpha, we don't have alpha yet, isn't it? So let us calculate alpha. The formula to find alpha is equals to tan inverse modulo of b by a. Tan inverse b is 1 divided by 2. 1, di 1 divided by 0, sorry. Uh, 1 divided by 0 is not defined and tan inverse uh, when it is not defined it is at 90 degree. So the alpha will be 90 degree. Let us put this value in this relation that theta is equals to alpha. Theta is equals to 90 degree so theta is uh, 90 degree is nothing but pi by 2. So so we found r and we also found theta. r is modulus, theta is the argument. Next, 1 by 1 plus i. The given complex number, we need to convert it into the standard form to find the modulus and the argument. To convert it into the standard form, we rationalize, we rationalize the denominator. That is 1 by 1 plus i. The conjugate of it is 1 minus i. 1 minus i, we divide and multiply. So we rationalize the denominator. Now we multiply 1 into 1 minus i, 1 minus i divided by the, this denominator we can solve using a plus b into a minus b is equals to a square plus b square. So here we get 1 square minus i square. So 1 square is 1 and i square is minus 1. So what we get is 1 minus i divided by 2 and 1 minus i divided by 2 we can also write it as 1 divided by 2 minus i 1 divided by 2 isn't it so this is in the form in, this is in the standard form now that is z is equals to a plus i b where a is equals to 1 by 2 and b is equals to minus 1 by 2 once we get the standard form we can easily find the modulus and argument let us find modulus and argument now to find modulus r is is equals to root of a square plus b square. What is a? a is 1 by 2 that is whole square plus b is my negative 1 by 2 that is whole square. So one, uh, so it will be 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 that will be root of 2 by 4 and root of 1 by that will be root of 1 by 2 and root of 1 by 2 is nothing but 1 
root of 1 is nothing but 1 divided by root 2. So the value of r is 1 by root 2. Next, let us choose the theta. To choose the theta, we need to see the sign of the variable that is a is positive and b is negative. So positive and negative is in the fourth quadrant that is positive and negative. So we'll choose the theta from the fourth quadrant that is theta is equals to minus alpha. So here the theta is equals to minus alpha uh, but we don't have as we don't have the alpha value let us first calculate the alpha value that is alpha is equals to tan inverse b by a. What is b? b is negative 1 by 2 and a is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2, 1 by 2 get cancelled and negative 1. As we have modulus sign here, negative will convert into positive. So alpha is equal to tan inverse of 1. Tan inverse of 1 is at 45 degree, isn't it? So alpha is equal to 45 degree. So now let us put this in theta. Theta is equal to minus alpha. Theta is equal to minus 45 degree. So 45 can also be written as pi by 4. So theta is equal to minus 5 by 4 and r, the modulus r is equal to 1 by root 2. So this is the answer. Uh, you may not write this. I don't know. No, okay, you may not write this. If you have any confusion, ask me in comments. Okay. Thank you.